Chips log. Friday. Oh, it's May 1st today. May 1st. Springtime. It's an awfully little shovel for a big pipe. There's just so many roots. Ah. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, look at those roots. <laughs> Shawshank style with a spoon. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Well, that doesn't help it out, does it? No. Right here? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All right. So that's the water meter. All right, we've been listed in a, an experiment. We're actually going to try to turn the water on. A little tester Rooney. Okay, experiment number one. Testing the water. Attempt number 17. <laughs> Here we go. All right. I think that's just right now. Ah. <laughs> Karen. Yeah. Run back there. Tell me how much water is coming Okay. A work. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. So that is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we got water, dude. Yeah. Whew. That's amazing. Uh, one small step. Well, maybe we can con confirm that this is shoddy pipes. <laughs> Poorly engineered. Yeah. Oh, he can do it. He's He-Man. Strongest man ever. All right. Whew, he did it. Let's put a piece of tape on it. Should we use duct tape? I know. Shut up. Yeah. yeah. That was just, I would sort of success, right? Yeah, we got water. <laughs> Boom. Oh, what, what day is it? <laughs> what day is today? Ah, now I remember it's Saturday. This is going to slide open this way. So we're going to have a porch right here. Eh, not much progress. Mark's been under the trailer, working like an animal. Uh, and also finding dead animals. Yay! My job in the next 24 to 48 after I'm done raking and mulching out front is to get rid of the black mold. Huh? Now that we have water, I'm gonna clean all the panels. Because at some point, we're planning on doing spray foam at this stage, uh, unless something changes. In order for the spray foam to adhere to the wall, one needs a clean surface. And we have OCD. Sunday. Not sure of the date, but it doesn't really matter. Last we left off. Whoa, that is intense. I can't believe that jack can hold the whole thing up. Oh, it's three and a half tons. Three and a half tons? Yeah. It's a good amount of uh, torque there, or force, or whatever you call that thing. Wow. What is it? Yeah. That too. Nice little Sunday. Back here it feels a lot warmer and glorious. It's a bit of a breeze in the trees. According to these two gentlemen, we're going to have power on Monday. Is that right? Tomorrow. Wow. We'll switch on the power on Monday, which is tomorrow. I'm feeling the mold today. Me and you, mold. Let's get up close and personal. Since we have water. I mean, why not? It's crazy. When I come in here, it actually doesn't even smell anymore. It doesn't smell like rodent piss. It doesn't smell like insulation, particulate dust. It smells like the fine chips from the mulch. It's 
amazing. We had a bunch of people that have been involved in the history of this trailer tell us, oh, if you take that down, it's not going to make a difference. We already did that, yada, yada. But there were places that they didn't take the insulation down on the front and the back and in the middle of the ceiling that were from the original trailer. So hands down, you could smell that stuff from a mile away when I was dumping at the landfill when it was coming down. I'm telling you life-changing so i don't really feel like i need to wear this mask but until i get rid of this like what's left the black mold i'm wearing it just be safe just taking some vinegar using a spray bottle to spray the vinegar gonna use a scrub brush and i uh, got some soapy water and then this thing to rinse the walls and uh we should be good Say goodbye to mold and say hello to a shiny new wall. So we're getting a lesson in uh, how to make our, how to wire a panel? Yep. Nice. We got the vinegar. And then we get this glorious sponge. And just like that. Take off the fuzzy, wonderful. Don't you just want to clean your dishes with that? But the beauty of this is that this is all natural vinegar and all natural soap the kind of soap that if you pour it out into your backyard you're not going to feel bad about it you know what i mean you want everything to be environmentally friendly over here protect the mountains oh and just like that Ta -da! Mold free. That was definitely the worst wall that had the most black mold. And then I thought this would be fun. Who doesn't love a little compare and contrast? Compare. 60 years of dirt and mold compared to what a little elbow grease will do. If I just scrub with a little soap and some vinegar, it will be clean. Oh yes, it will be clean. It's gotta keep at it. See, we gotta save the prestige though. That's what this is gonna be, the prestige. This is the ultimate magic trick when it's all done. Yeah. yeah. Gave her the old rinse -a So, it'll be dry by tomorrow. We'll come in the morning, you know, tape off the prestige and the windows. We'll discover what the paint is gonna look like. I'm just gonna paint this side for now. Obviously there's way more work to be done on that side and on the front side too, but uh, this is really just me being impatient and I desperately wanna know what it's gonna look like. And I'm sure you guys do too. Okay, she is prepped and ready. As you guys recall yesterday, I did the cleaning. And now it is ready to be the prestige. Even though you can't read the prestige. And voila. Okay, I know it's a little worrisome that it actually looks periwinkle blue. And seeing as though this is not an episode of Snatch, I am here to reassure you that that is actually the primer. Phew. So, just the primer. Fooled ya. So stay tuned for what the real color is gonna be.
We'll just call him John Henry. <laughs> <laughs>